Well, Georgia's farmers and fishermen are already feeling the effects of climate change, as are our coastal communities, which will continue to see more high storm surge events, more high wind events. We can unite this country right now at a moment when so many are out of work and struggling economically behind a historic infrastructure plan with unprecedented investments in clean energy to make Georgia the leading producer of renewable energy in the American Southeast, to invest in public health clinics, research and development, rural broadband, transit and transportation. We can unite people behind an infrastructure program. Senator Perdue has been in the Senate for six years, in the Senate majority, no major infrastructure plan because this is a man without vision. This is a man who lacks vision beyond the interests of his donors. Senator, you don't even accept the scientific consensus that greenhouse gas pollution is seconds. driving climate change, do you? Yeah. Rebuttal, Senator Perdue. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's talk about infrastructure. Democrats for 20 years tried to deepen this port, some Republicans as well, but career politicians failed to deepen the port of Savannah over 20 years. As a business guy, I went to Washington to get results for the people of Georgia, and we did that. That's the highest economic return of any infrastructure investment that we had available to us in the United States, and we got it done. It'll be completed by the end of next year. The next thing Ten is seconds I grew up on, on a farm, and I can tell you that nobody understands better than farmers do about how to take care of air, land, and the water. Um, it's not big bureaucracy that's going to solve this, and you can talk about infrastructure all you want to. Talk to us about how we're going to finance that, because Thank none you very of what much. you've done as Democrats have ever worked. 